Today's challenge is to create a render-friendly procedural paper texture. Starting with this origami model first, we're going to add surface imperfections and then a thin line along the folds. Head over to the shading workspace, create a material and give it a proper name. We don't need all the BS that comes along with the principled BSDF shader, so delete it and replace it with the diffuse shader node. Give the paper a nice bright color and turn up the roughness. Now if you don't see any colors, just make sure to switch to preview mode or render mode. So we now have a perfectly flat piece of colored paper, but we want to give it some character by adding imperfections. Let me use the Add menu and the Search field to bring in a Texture Coordinate, a Noise Texture, a Mix RGB, a Voronoi Texture, and finally a Bump Node. The combination of the Noise and Voronoi Textures generates the subtle imperfections that we need for our paper shader. The Mix RGB node lets us adjust the influence of the Noise Texture. Finally, the Bump node takes the randomly generated height values and converts them into vector normals, which are then fed into the normal socket of the diffuse shader. Now this next part is amazingly simple, but it will make a big difference. If you look close at this paper origami, you can see that the lighting gives depth to the model, while the imperfections make it look realistic and give it sort of a history. However, what will bring the paper origami to life is the addition of a contrasting color along the folds of the paper. To do this, add an ambient occlusion, a map range, and a mix RGB node. The ambient occlusion node is the main node of this branch, which when set to calculate local occlusion, generates the lines along the folds. Make sure to set the distance value according to the size of your model. Oh, and here's another procedural texture you can use in your awesome models. 